Welcome back. It's now time to have a look into our Celeb Talk section where this week my colleague Preeti Priyadarshini had a candid conversation with Bollywood star John Abraham. John shared some candid moments with us and shared his views on various topics. So here's John Abraham for you all in our Celeb Talk section. Hello viewers and uh, guess who we are with today. We have a very... Like, uh, we can say a wonderful surprise for you today. Yes, we have with us John Abraham. You heard it right. Uh, yeah, John, so welcome to Guwahati for this season of ISL. First of all, we would want to know how is the preparations for ISL going on for any UFC? And uh, who are, like, uh, what would you say to our viewers regarding your preparations going on for any UFC this time? Well, preparations have been good. Uh uh, for me, it's always a never-say-die attitude. Uh, we've not had uh, a great season last season. Um, it, it was uh, very, very uh, troubled. But uh, we've got back on our feet and we want to have a good season this season. Um, expectations are zero and I always want to keep it that way. I just want us to go out there and play well. And I want all the viewers of Northeast Live to actually come out and support the team come and watch the games live and if you cannot see the games live then please watch it on television and show your support because uh, we always believe that we play these games for uh, the fans and we want to make it extra special for them and that's why we, we, we've we tried to put together a, a good team. Yeah. Uh, coming to the players of this season, like how many international and how many Indian players we have in Northeast East United FC this time? So, so by, by rule you're allowed uh, seven to eight international players and uh, 14 to 15 Indian players. So you can have a maximum of 23 players and a minimum of 21 players, depending on the 7, 14 or the 8, 15 combined that you have. Fanai, who's uh, amongst my favorites, who's <laughs> gonna be, got Putia, who's uh, my coach's favorite. So we've got some Northeastern boys who are absolutely uh, absolutely fantastic um, and uh, what we've tried to do and what I've tried to do is I've tried to incorporate all the eight states mm. of the Northeast mm. and you know sometimes mm. you cannot do all that uh, because the team's more important and performance is important but I've also tried to maintain the philosophy and the balance but keeping all Northeast boys and Northeast is impossible mm -hmm. but the Northeast and boys who are playing for our team are, uh, are young very very young as young as 18 and uh, they're very good uh, coming back to Northeast again, because uh, we know that uh, John is also planning about making an uh, academy, sports academy here. We would want to know more about this. Like, uh, how are you planning and when is it starting? Like Talking about the academy, yes, uh, I'm looking at starting something in Guwahati. Uh, great. That's a great news for our viewers, actually. And uh, yes, you can you could just hear it right from John Abraham. Uh, yeah, so more. So uh, we want to start something here in Guwahati and uh, we want to uh, uh, have something really big. Uh, I've obviously been to Southampton uh, because they have the best football academy in the world. Yeah. Uh, we want to tie up with uh, probably the best academies, get the best technicians down, have the best residential facilities for the children, uh, the best educational facilities for the children because sometimes what's important is not just, uh, you know, uh, training them. It's also making sure that when they train so much, they need to study. Mm -hmm. So we want to have the best all-round facility. Already so excited. I'm already excited after listening to that. Uh, I must tell you viewers, like John has said, that he has he is in deeply in love with this region, with this uh, city, with this whole Northeast region. And this is not something just said, but also done, we can see. Uh, John is always here whenever we are, uh, like, uh, when, whenever there is a good cause, whenever there is about a cause for the animals over here, or like, I know you are an, an, an animal, animal lover also. We Last time we met was uh, something regarding rescuing the uh, animals on the roads right. so uh, like uh, mm, what are you recently doing on like uh, animal uh, for your animal love are you doing uh, anything uh, we're, doing, we're doing a lot we're doing a lot but i would just like to urge all the viewers here ke agar aap uh, koi bhi janwar ko especially uh, kutto ko agar aap dekh rahe ho mm -hmm. when you see dogs on the road please don't harm them unko kuch khilaiye give them love because uh, they are beautiful creatures or up mane ana mane, lekin they have a better life state than human beings, you know, and they're far more loving, they're far more loyal. Or, uh, bachpan se hame kaha jata ki kutta kaatega, 
जो सही नहीं है वो नहीं काटते इंसान ज्यादा काटते हैं talk about football but also about movies because uh, recently satyamev jayate and uh, um, you can say this parmanu was a hit in the movie like parmanu like uh, my personal favorite i can see and then uh, so uh, what is coming up next raw is coming up next if i'm not wrong yeah. so i have a film called raw which is romeo akbar volto and it's based on uh, a region uh, where india fought the war in 1971 very close to us bangladesh mm -hmm. which was then east pakistan so it's a true story about a theater actor okay. a very beautiful very beautiful story um, and then i have a film called batla house okay. um, which is again um, a true story on so, uh, will raw come first or like batla house is coming raw first comes on march 15th yeah. batla house comes on august 15th and after batla house i i i do a comedy because i want to laugh <laughs> i want to have a good time i'm tired of a uh, very intense and action okay. yeah. so i'm doing a comedy with anis bazmi mm -hmm. who i worked with on welcome back mm -hmm. um it's a film called pagal panti okay. means madness okay. yeah. so that's what i'm doing and then um, i'm doing a film called officer khan okay. and uh, then satyamev jayate part 2 and okay. uh, uh, all coming on uh, we can say the next year or it will be like uh, next, next to next yeah. year also yeah. So okay yeah i've got myself completely stocked and planned now <laughs> uh, and john is always related to football john is always related to any ufc and uh, but then how did this football craze or come to you like is it regarding any other sport or is it particularly for football how did it strike you first well i played a division uh, football in uh, in bombay and uh, if i had really pushed myself to a, a certain level i could have probably tried out for india so uh, at that point of time you know in our time my my mom uh, and my dad told me that you know it's your decision in life and in those days it was about studies mm -hmm. so if you had to make a choice between sport and education you chose education mm -hmm. so maybe this is my way of reliving my passion for football yeah. by making sure that north east united fc wins and india comes to the world cup one day uh, you were interested in racing right you say that yes. like what are your other hobbies you have because we know john abraham is a, a animal lover pet lover then uh, john abraham is absolutely a football lover he is interested in uh, so involved so much into acting and what else do you love our viewers would also uh, we never know you might give us a surprise anytime oh, so yeah so motorcycling is a thing i love uh, just before coming here i was in the uk okay. and uh, there's a very famous uh, circuit there called brands hatch it's a very historical circuit so i rode my bike um, not my bike a bike i got from there mm -hmm. on the circuit and um, because that's the only time i get to go fast and i still i was there about a week ago it was raining heavily but because it's so safe we were doing 240 kilometers per hour in heavy rains on the straight you know oh and we were God. and my instructor would tell me 1 2 3 and we'd all turn and go down the slope at 100 kilometers an hour but that is something i enjoy that's beautiful and uh, motorcycling is something that's very close to my heart so yes motorcycle racing is another thing that i'm very keen about so if i'm starting a football academy i also want to start a motorcycle racing academy will that be again in guwahati or somewhere else i would like to as see as much as possible i'd like to have a one stop shop okay. so i'd like to create uh, an ecosystem where uh, a lot of sports facilities happen out of the northeast so say a kid from uh, mumbai or delhi or bangalore Uh, for two months, the parents say, "Hey, listen, we need to put him in the best academy in the country. Mm -hmm. That should yes. be our academy." Yeah, and uh, so thank you so much. That was John Abraham with us uh, for the first time in Northeast Television, Candid with Northeast Life.